It's by M Day! This video was formed in front of a live ostrich. Okay, well, switching to my phone because my camera battery just died and I want to save the rest for tonight. I'm seeing between you and me today. I'm so excited. So as always, I'm gonna vlog my day. If you're just here for Between You and Me content or Young Culture content or Sharia Moore content or Home Safe content, I'm gonna do the chapters thing like I always do. Um, so yeah. I'm already cold and I just woke up. My outfit today has a crop top and shorts. I'm gonna die before the concert even starts. Okay, check the fit, check the fit. I might do jewelry later. I haven't decided on that yet. Shirt is from Young Culture, obviously. Overshirt is from Sheen. Shorts are from Sheen. These are from Sheen. And the shoes, shoes, shoes. They're Walmart brand Converse. There's literally snow on the ground. So I'm gonna just have to be cool about that. And by that, I mean complain about how cold I am until doors open. I have to help my mom put away groceries in a little bit. She's still at the grocery store right now. I'm checking on something for her. Um, so that's gonna be kind of like my pregame. Oh my god, I got distracted because my camera battery died and then I was talking to my friend on the phone, whatever. This concert is a long time coming for me. I have been begging Sharia Moore to come back to Albany since the last time they were in Albany, two years ago. Young Culture has been back in Albany a few times since the last time I saw them, but I've missed them every single time. So I had to go to this concert. I wasn't a Between You and Me fan when I bought the tickets, but I'm like, I have to go to this, Sharia Moore and Young Culture. And now I'm a huge fan of Between You and Me as well, so... I'm just so excited. Do you guys want to hear my goals for this concert? I wrote down goals. How silly is that? My hair looks like shit. I want to meet at least one member of each band, except for Home Safe, because I couldn't tell you what they look like if I tried. Because I made friendship bracelets, and I want to give them friendship bracelets. I want to get a better picture with Trey and Brendan from Sharia Moore than these, because these look like they were taken with a calculator. I learned my lesson this time. Take pictures with band members on my phone and not my vlog camera. I guess that kind of ties in like six of my goals because three of them are give a member of each band bracelets and get a picture with the members that I meet. I wanna get a set list. I have one set list as of right now and it's a girlfriend's set list and I'm not a fan of girlfriends anymore. I'm keeping it for the memories, but I don't know. I, I'm hoping to get a young culture set list, but we'll see. I might try for a between you and me one as well. Spend my life savings on merch. This isn't really a goal. It's more of a manifestation because it's gonna happen. <laughs> don't die of BDs. And by that, I mean, I don't want my blood sugar to go too low during the concert. I'm sure it's gonna happen. It's inevitable. I'm gonna be shaking ass and not eating as much. I have glucose tablets. I might bring protein bars as well, so I'm sure I'll be fine. I want to hear Goldfish. I guess some shows Between You and Me has been playing Goldfish as an encore and some they haven't. I want to hear Goldfish. I've been trying to get them to play Famous for the past three months, but that's not going to happen. So I, I think we need Goldfish because that song should have just been on the set list. I want to meet a bunch of my Twitter mutuals. There are so many Twitter mutuals that are going to be there. It's going to be Oomph Chella. And on top of that, I want to give out a bunch of my friendship bracelets. I have my friendship bracelets on carabiners. Let's see if I can get these out without breaking any of them. I set aside the bracelets that I'm giving to band members. These are my extra bracelets. I don't want to come home with these. I feel like that's close to the number of bracelets I made for Big Time Rush, and I came home with so many bracelets. I don't want that to happen again. Unless they're other people's bracelets, I am so willing to trade. Oh, and I had one more goal, which was to crowd surf, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because this venue doesn't have a barricade, and I'm like terrified of stage diving. I, I, do, I don't want to stage dive. I'd be willing to crowd surf, but not stage dive. Oh, actually, I had one more, but I don't think it's gonna happen as well. Get JT from Between You and Me to say something for the vlog. I don't know, I think that'd be neat, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm debating whether I should change into pants. This outfit is so cute, but I feel like it's gonna be too cold. But I'm also worried about being hot in the venue, so I don't know what to do. Upstate New York weather, one, Tiffany, zero. But I feel like the fit is kind of cute with the pants. So maybe it's like, upstate New York weather, one, Tiffany, one. We're tied. The pants are from Old Navy, by the way. Room for buy-in. Throwing some primer on because I want this shit to stay all fucking night. And then I think I have to wait a minute or two for it to actually get tacky. Normally I don't have time to wait a minute or two, so I just kind of throw my makeup on on top, but I can wait today. While I wait, let's look at my earrings, see if I should put some earrings on. I feel like, would the clouds be cute? Or I could wear my famous earrings to yell at them to play famous. I'm kidding. That was a joke. That was a very bad one at that. I think I waited too long because now I feel like it's not tacky. I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, by the way. I gotta remind myself to list out every product while I'm talking because I'm not 
going to list this out on Instagram or anything. I'm only gonna use a little bit of concealer. I'm using the She Glam Perfect Skin High Coverage Concealer Shade Chantilly. That's a mouthful. I'm just kind of gonna cover some of my blemishes. And that up there, oh my god. NYX Micro Brow Pencil Shade Black. I might as well just like dye my eyebrows because they're not dark enough to go with the black hair. Okay, now for the fun part. Beauty Bay Midnight Palette, shade Mist. I just realized I used the wrong shade. I'll be right back. Beauty Bay Midnight Palette, shade Foam, that one. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade. Yeah, this shade, nothing else from the Beauty Bay Nude Palette to blend it out. And then for my waterline, I'm going with the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner, shade, is that Swerve? Swerve. I have to be very careful that this stays in the waterline because I don't want it under my eye. I just want it on the waterline. Slay. Slay again. Definition Beauty stencils. I think these are the Butterfly in the Sky stencils. Made by Mitchell. Eclectics color case. I'm going to use the shade Ice Melt, which is this one. Made by Mitchell, the Essentials color case, shade The Deep End, same shades as last time, fade into hue, shade Take It Easel. Okay, smoky palette, shade I feel like these don't necessarily look like butterflies, but I'm keeping them. Glisten Cosmetics Spectral Lash Mascara, shade Black, code Tiffany Rock for a discount. Desco Face Sprinkles, shade Bratty, code Tiffany Rock for a discount. I'm gonna set with powder, She Glam, Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo, shade Translucent. And then I'm gonna set with Setting Spray, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I'm gonna set with the powder again. I saw a hack on TikTok that says do that. I don't know, brush off any access, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Sweet, now I'm ready for Between You and Me. We are leaving! My dad's like right behind me, but he has to take out garbage. I pressed the stop button on accident. Oh my God, it is cold and the wind is blowing my shirt back and it's making me colder. Dad, can you tell me what you just said that we have? We got an end and end. <laughs> So I can take some insulin. <laughs> so Casey from Sharia Orange oh, came okay. <laughs> The bass, just like in Empire Live, is like very boomy, especially if you're very close to the front like I was.
Bouncy, 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 bounce.
lollipop. No, no need to scream. There was no need for you to be screaming like that. <laughs>
You guys sound so fucking good.
God, so much happened. So you know when Bassy was like never gonna happen, like to the guy playing yelling, play move on. No. So I, I held up my phone and said replace All Star with Famous, and Bassy saw it and he goes never gonna happen. We're leaving. I'm so sad it's over, but I'm also so so happy that it happened. So much cool stuff happened. I didn't get to meet JT, and that is a bummer. But I did get to meet Bassy and Jay. So. That's fine. But I set my camera down to get a picture with Sharia Moore and I almost walked out without it. And they, I think they were like looking at it being like, oh, whose camera's that? Somebody lost their camera. And I run up and I'm like, sorry. I'm home. I'm sad and my blood sugar is low. So time to cry into some pizza while I tell you guys what happened. First of all, I need a soda. Second of all, getting to Empire Underground especially when you don't really know where you're going, is so scary. You have to go like, if you're lining up at Empire Live, which I've shown videos of before, you go straight and then around the corner and then you go down some more and then you turn into an alleyway. I was literally like, <laughs> I'm in danger. So I was walking down this alley and I only see one other person. So I'm like, are you here for between you and me? Is this the line? It was so freezing. My toes were like, they had frostbite, I think. I think that's what frostbite was. It was like so cold that they burnt, but in a cold way. Casey from Sharia Moore comes out and sees us. And he was basically like, aren't you guys cold? And then he sees me and my shirt was cropped as it was earlier. And he goes, it's too cold for you to have skin showing. I probably stood there for like 20 minutes and then I realized I can just uncrop my shirt. Why am I standing here in the cold with a cropped shirt? And then a few minutes later, Alex from Young Culture comes out, says hello to everyone. He hugged me, he called me Tiff. I hate when people call me Tiff. I do not like that nickname at all. But when band members call me Tiff, <laughs> we're being let in and I say to the bouncer, do I have to show you my ID if I want X's on my hands? And he was like, yeah, this is a bar. You need your ID. In my defense, last time it worked. My bag was full of a bunch of shit I didn't need. I had three protein bars and I only needed one. So it's not like I didn't have my ID or anything. I just didn't want to take it out because I didn't want to take the time to dig through my bag. I walk inside. I see Brendan 
I walk up to him and go, oh my god, is that Brendan Willis? <laughs> and he was like, told you we'd come back. I got a picture with him. I'm like, dad, this is Brendan. He's in Shiri Moore because my dad was right there. Luckily, that was necessary for later on in the show, but I will get there. At this point, the venue was dead. There was probably like 30 people in the building max. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be a very small, intimate show. He expects me to crowd surf this crowd. So I run into Trey. I talk to him. Got a picture with him. And I feel like I have like three chins in all of my, almost all of my pictures, which sucks, but it's also not a bad thing. Cause I was like happy and in the moment and all that corny shit. Casey comes up to me and he goes, I'm about to go do my eye makeup. I'm sure you'd appreciate that. Cause I know you're into eye makeup. He comes back into the crowd like two minutes later. And I'm like, took you so long to do your makeup, huh? And he's like, I'm new at this. It just takes me two minutes. I just slap shit on my face. And I'm like, my makeup takes me 30 minutes when he said he was about to do his eye makeup. He's like, oh, I'm gonna do uh, Browns tonight or something like that. And I'm like, I thought you were gonna do blue and black to match with me like as a little jokey I didn't expect him to actually um, He's like, I don't have any blues. And I'm like, you should have told me I could have brought you something He comes over and he's wearing red eyeshadow and he's like, it's like a it's like a complimentary color to your blue I tweeted that Casey pointed at me during Orlando. I have very little memory of that happening I know what happened, but I can't tell you like why? <laughs> I'm sure I was doing like that concert finger point thing because I did that a lot or something. I don't know. When I wasn't up front, I was with my friend Bowie and at one point, Bassy from Between You and Me was right in front of them. And I wasn't entirely sure if it was him or not. Like it kind of looked like him, but it kind of looked like it couldn't be him. So, so I messaged them on Twitter. And I'm like, is Bassy right in front of you? They didn't see it. So I'm like, I like tap him on their shoulder or like something. I'm like, is that Bassy? And they're like, yeah. And then, like, I wanted to, like, you know, say hi, ask for a picture. But I was nervous. And I'm like, I was just thinking, like, what if he's, he's already talked to somebody in front of me. I don't want to interrupt him. And Bowie goes, just tap on his shoulder. And I'm like, I'm nervous. So then they tapped on his shoulder for me. He turned around and I'm like, hi. <laughs> and what's crazy is he knew me from my covers. Like, he said something about my covers and I didn't necessarily hear him. So I'm like, what? And he goes, Tiffany, right? Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? I'm just glad he knew me for my covers and not my constant nagging about wanting to hear famous on Twitter and TikTok. This is gonna be very garbled and out of order because I have post-concert brain. I'm pretty sure before I met Bassie, I bought all my merch. I asked Luke, Young Culture's merch person, for something and he like goes to tell me the price and I'm like, oh, I'm not done, I wanted more. <laughs> that was very awkward. But I think after that, no, I bought my Between You and Me merch after that. I bought my Sharia Moore merch. They didn't have the size of a certain shirt. So somebody had to go to the trailer and get more of it. Brendan was like, do you want to wait until we get that? Or do you want me to charge you, then get it to you? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Just charge me, then get it to me. And then I also got, which I'll get to that, but I got a CD and a Sharia Moore poster. And he was like, we can sign this. I'm like, could you please? And he kept it because I think Trey and Casey were like right there, but Ronnie wasn't. He messages me at one point being like, would you want a 3X in the t-shirt? I can't find any 2X. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And then he was like, oh wait, never mind, we found it. And then I messaged him being like, hey, after home safe, I'm gonna try to find my way to the front. Is there any way I could meet you after the show to get the CD, the poster, and the shirt? Or would you want me to stay in the back? It ended up being fine. I got the CD, the poster, and the shirt. I text my dad. I'm like, hey, if you see Brendan, could you ask him about my CD poster and shirt? And then I sent him my picture that I got with Brendan. I'm like, this is Brendan in case you forgot. <laughs> Apparently he was like bugging Brendan like all night, I guess, which was kind of funny. I like feel bad even though Brendan said it was fine. I'm like, oh, I found out that my dad was bugging you. I'm sorry if you found that annoying. Sorry that my face is a mess. I'm like the messiest eater you'll ever meet. Almost every band member that I got a picture with Notice that the back of my phone is the Cemetery Sun logo. And I thought that was neat. Those are men with taste. The venue wasn't very packed, so I left during Sharia Moore, or not during Sharia Moore, like after they were done. And I didn't ask my dad to save my spot or anything because I'm like, oh, it's not even that crowded. It got very crowded by Home Safe. I didn't get a lot of pictures or videos during Home Safe, but that was mostly the time where I bought my merch, met other band members, so it's like, it was kind of worth it. Can we talk about that video of JT surfing during Young Culture? Not 
not only was that iconic, but the video I got of it was like, my camera decided to cooperate with me for that like 15 seconds and it was so good. If that was out of focus, I would have cried. Oh my god, I'm forgetting so much. Now I have to backtrack to when I was outside of the venue and I met Alex. I gave him a friendship bracelet and I'm like, Alex, do you want a friendship bracelet? And he was like, heck yeah, I do. <laughs> Sorry. Being a fangirl. When I met Casey, uh, when he came over to me and he was like, I'm about to do my makeup, I asked him to get a picture and then we did. And he goes, can I hug you? <laughs> Casey is the absolute sweetest human being on the planet. So I didn't get a picture with Troy from Young Culture, but he like walked by and I think he like pointed at me as a way to be like, hey, I know you. Again, I'm sorry, this is all out of order, but I have post-concert rant. I was buying my Sharia War merch and <laughs> Bowie was next to me and they're like, you're gonna need another tote bag. And I'm like, well, Sharia War doesn't have tote bags. He's like, uh, Brendan was like, we will next tour. And I'm like, oh yeah, the next tour where you're not gonna come here, here being Albany. And he's like, we will fall. Brendan. Brendan Willis. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? If that tour does not come to Albany, I'm throwing hands. In the same moment when I was buying my Sharia Moore merch, I joked with Brendan, like, what happened to you guys playing Too Nice to Say uh, eight times in a row? And he was like, we tried to or something like that. I don't know. It's brain fog. I, this is why I do these vlogs. Not for you guys, but to retain my memory. Oh my god, I just remember something embarrassing. So Trey said something about Friday Eve. And I'm like, Trey, it's Thursday. And then the person next to me was like, oh yeah, he said Friday Eve. And I'm like, I thought he said Friday evening. <laughs> I went up to talk to Gabe from Young Culture. I was like this close to talking to him. And I I, th I think I heard Bowie right. They go, don't, just don't. Update, I misheard my friend Bowie when I was walking up to Gabe because they said, just do it, which makes so much more sense. And I'm like, why did you say don't? And they were like, what? And I'm like, huh? Am I about to do something wrong? Like, and then they were like, bro, I got this. And then walked up to, to Gabe and was like, hey, my friend wants to get a picture with you. I loved hanging with Bowie. I was like so worried that meeting my Twitter beaches was gonna be like really awkward, but I feel like we just like clicked like immediately. It was so fun. I feel like more things happened. I forgot to give Ronnie a friendship bracelet. I feel really bad about that. I gave Bassie all of the friendship bracelets, like for the members of Viam, so I hope they got them. He broke one of them, and I'm like, oh, good thing I have extras. I had like 20 million extras, so I could get him one. I literally, at one point, I was like going up to everyone who was up against the stage and like, hey, want a friendship bracelet? Hey, want a friendship bracelet? I literally turned into an extrovert for 30 seconds. I held up on my phone a little thing that said, replace all star with famous, and at the same time, someone behind me was yelling, play move on, play move on. JT was like responding to that guy, but Bassie saw my thing and was like, nope, not happening. And JT was like, oh, this guy wants us to play move on. And Bassie was like, someone wants us to play famous too. I know that's like, why would I even do that? But it's like, hell. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, at least they don't have to deal with my constant yapping about Famous. The show is over. They didn't play it. Next tour. Next tour that comes to Albany. You better play it. I'm sure a member of Between You and Me is definitely watching it and has watched this far. Please. <laughs> Between You and Me set ended and I, it was like 10.30 and I asked my dad, can we stay till 11? I really want to meet JT. It didn't happen because my dad got upset with me because he has to work in the morning. Fair. But I did get to meet Jay. And when I got a picture of him, he said he liked my butterflies, so that was neat. Oh my god, I just remembered something. So, I don't remember if I included this part in the vlog, but when we got to the venue, my dad ate while I went in line. I think I did include that. So, I was waiting for my dad, and <laughs> there are like two different ways, I guess, you can get to the line. And I thought that one way was closed off, because like the band's tour buses were right there. So, so I see my dad walking down from there, I'm like, how did you get over there? <laughs> I thought of another thing, so I budgeted out money for tips for merch in cash. So I was going to pay for merch with card, but use cash for tips because that's what my friends told me to do. So I bought my Young Culture merch and I was worried that Luke didn't see me put the bill in the cup. So <laughs> I, I tapped no tip on like the iPad, but I felt guilty even though I gave a tip. So I'm like, I gave a tip, I'm not an asshole. <laughs> Somebody kept saying happy birthday to Troy, so for some reason we sang happy birthday. It's not his birthday. I was like, oh, it's Troy's birthday? Nice, slay. So I think it was during Between You and Me set, we just sang happy birthday to Troy. And then someone from the side, I think it was Alex, was like, it's not his birthday. That reminds me, 
I was standing right by one of the speakers and right next to the speakers was a little stairway and then a door and that door goes to like the backstage green room. Is that what it's called? Most of the time I got to watch the bands watching the other bands. Like I saw the Between You and Me guys watching Young Culture. I didn't watch them like I was watching Young Culture but every so often I would just like glance over and be like that's JT right there. While my dad and I were waiting for JT to possibly come out uh, he sees Alex and he's like, oh, there's Alex. And that's what prompted the clip where I'm like, oh guys, my dad can recognize the band members and name them. I'm so proud of him. Between You and Me's set ended. They said at the end of previous shows, the crowd got to hear Goldfish by chanting Goldfish. Goldfish, Goldfish. So of course that's what I did. Chanted Goldfish. But everyone else, I think every other person was chanting one more song, one more song. And I was over here like, Goldfish, Goldfish. I felt awkward. I feel like people were giving me awkward looks, but that's it's fine, it's whatever. Can we talk about how we chanted YC fucks like five times? D during Between You and Me set. I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny. Okay. Now, I think I can show you what merch I got. And I want to start off with the most exciting thing. I got two set lists. Troy handed me this one and Bassie handed me this one and I'm never going to forget that. Especially because I've immortalized it in this vlog. Speaking of which, I marked off all of my goals except for two and it was the two that I didn't expect to happen. Crowd surfing and getting JT to say something for my vlog. I really wish I would have gotten a picture with that man. But since my dad got a little frustrated with me because I wanted to stay and see if he would come out. The only time I could have gotten a picture with him is if I saw him watching Young Culture and asked for a picture, but that would be rude. Speaking of rude, I did a bad thing. A couple weeks ago, before the tour started, I asked Alex from Young Culture if I could sing Jesus with them on stage, if I could sing Daisy Grenade's part. And he said to circle back when it gets closer to the show. And then the other day I messaged him and he said no. I like kind of tried to make a little jokey joke, but it was not silly and goofy. It was embarrassing. Alex said something about my covers and I'm like, oh, but you won't let me sing on stage with you. That's one of those things where I'm like, should I DM him and apologize for that? Like I was just trying to be silly and goofy. He explained himself, which he didn't need to. It's literally just a simple, I don't want to, like it's your concert, you know? But I <laughs> couldn't hear what he said. And I, now I feel even worse. Sharia Moore poster signed by all of them. Brendan, Trey, Casey, Ronnie. Between You and Me poster not signed. I'm still very upset that they changed the graphic from the orange and purple one to that. I made all of my friendship bracelets purple and orange for that reason and then they changed it. Sharia Moore shirt. Between You and Me shit yeah hoodie. They had a green butterflies hoodie the first day of the tour and I really wanted that but it wasn't there so that sucks. Everything is temporary CD not signed. I honestly don't even know why I bought this. I kind of want to start a CD collection, but I would have preferred Armageddon on CD because I like that album more, but they didn't have that on CD, so. Between You and Me in the middle shirt. I'm not a huge fan of this design on the back, but I really, really like this. So this would be one of those t-shirts that I could like, excuse me, wear like a jean jacket over or a denim leather jacket over and I like wouldn't feel bad that the design on the back isn't showing because I'm not a huge fan of it. I still wear it during like the spring but it's, it's not something I'm like a huge fan of you know. Between you and me tour t-shirt. I needed this. A shit yeah tote bag. I really didn't want the tote bags but I needed something to hold my merch. Next tote bag. This is a young culture tote bag. Very cute but I'm not a tote bag person anymore. This was the shirt that they didn't have in my size so like Brendan was like I'm gonna have to go out to the trailer and then Trey was like I can go out to the trailer to grab something or something like that. Use me up again. Your infidelity is better than your apathy. Sharia more long sleeve. This is printed on comfort colors. If you know me I fucking love comfort colors. Also this is a 2x and it's like kind of huge so like excited to wear this. I'm not a huge fan of uh, light colored clothes most of the time because like when I take my insulin shot I'm scared it'll like bleed and ruin the clothes. But fuck it, we ball. I think I bought every single shirt that Sharia Moore had. It's Sharia Moore on the front. This is what JT was wearing tonight. And it says, you give me love, you give me love, you give me hell. It's all good. Oh, no, it says, you the only one I knew in the 702. Oh my god, what if I wear that and I cover 702 and I wear that in the, oh my god, I'm a genius. <gasps> this would have been perfect with this shirt. Because it's the same shirt, just blue. 
it would have been perfect for my fit today. I kind of wanted to get two of them and like literally crop it like with scissors, but I'm like, what's the point of that when I just have my crop tuck? Hold on. I'm missing something. A Sharia Moore CD. It's not in the tote bag. Oh no. I'm sure I have it. Oh, dig through stuff. This is the last thing that I got besides the CD. Uh, it's a Young Culture crew neck. I didn't have enough Young Culture merch. I think this is the only Young Culture shirt I have. Well, no, my night is ruined. I asked them on Twitter if they could send me another one, but I don't know if that'll happen. I guess I'll keep you guys updated in the comments if I find it. But besides that, my night was so amazing. Thank you to Sharia Moore and Young Culture for getting me to listen to Between You and Me. And thank you to Between You and Me for bringing Young Culture and Sharia Moore to Albany. If you liked this video, like it, comment down below, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that crazy, wacky, weird, amazing, fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I never know how to end these things.